Hello everybody and thank you for watching. This is me, Mr. P. And in this video, I want to talk to you about USB-C hub by the company called QGM. Let's begin. First thing what I want to say in this video is big thank you to your company QGM for sending me this USB-C hub. And as a disclaimer, this is not, not a sponsored video and they not instructing me what I should say in this video. So let's start by looking at my bullet points. So metal design is pretty much the similar uh, finish, similar metal uh, cover that you will find on any other third party USB-C hubs that you'll find on Amazon or AliExpress, even comparing to the older model of QGM, which is one, two, three, four in one ports. It's pretty much the same, same device, the same, same finish, same metal case around it. This is like a smaller brother. This is a big brother. And as you can see, this one is my most favorite USB-C hub when I need to do quick testing with various apps, devices, etc., etc., because it has enough ports for me to connect everything up and it's very small and, and light. So this one is, is like a bigger brother with a bit more ports to use. Right, okay, size is length 98 centimeters, 98 centimeters, 98 millimeters by 10 millimeters by 45. And cable length is a standard 15 centimeters. With the ports on one side, we have two USB type A port and power, power delivery via USB type C. On another side, we have one USB type A port micro sd and sd card reader and at the back we have hdmi connector which outputs 4k at 60 hertz but at the time of recording this video samsung decks do not do 4k maximum resolution is 2k or 3440 by 1440p and about the resolution i will talk to you in a second one thing about your hdmi port what i would like to mention is it just is a bit more my my preference is to have hdmi port at the side where is the two usb type a ports and usb type c for charging just because it's going to make the setup much cleaner as everything that i can connect i will connect to this side i'm not going to use that much probably it's going to be just permanently connected so when everything connects this way it's going to go around the desk and going to fall off it's going to be much much neater setup and obviously the front everything what i'm going to use most of the time will going to face me i'm going to quickly plug in usb key or external hard drive or mouse and it's going to be much much neater setup i'm using the raw power charging brick station to supply power to this usb-c hub once i connected everything up this usb-c hub was get, giving 8.5 volts of power to my galaxy tab s6 and my note 9 and one thing i just uh, i would like to mention about the power is the uh, my both devices were getting fast charging why it's important not all third-party usb-c hubs will do that not all USB-C, not all third-party USB-C hubs will push enough power to your Galaxy device to, to get a fast charging enabled. This one does, and my bo both devices, Galaxy Tab S6 and Note 9, was getting charged on steroids, so it's very, very good. That's charging using DeX. Uh, yes, the USB-C hub will trigger DeX with or without a power, so that's good. That just once you need to quickly connect something up and do on a DeX, just a quick a quick setup, quick change to a file or text or anything, and you don't have access to a power, this will trigger DEX without a power supply. Once you will have everything connected, you have your Galaxy device connected, you have all the peripherals connected, you're using DEX and you want to connect the power while you're using DEX, make sure you disconnect your Galaxy device first, because there's a chance that your Galaxy device will get fried when you're connecting the power at the same time when the Galaxy device is charging the USB-C USB, USB hub already. And it's not only for QG, it's overall all third-party USB-C hubs that will trigger DEX without power. It's safe to disconnect the Galaxy device before connecting the power. And if you're gonna connect the power while Galaxy device is connected, DEX will restart anyway. It might just disconnect, plug the power and connect back in everything, obviously saving your stuff before doing that. With the resolutions, the, my Galaxy Tab S6 was getting 1440p resolution, maximum the resolution output with this USB-C hub. Sadly, my Note 9 was doing only 1080p. So it's a bit of a downer just because my Note 9 is just, there's a chance the Galaxy, Galaxy phones will not give you maximum resolution. But if you're using 1080p monitor and you don't really wanna go anything higher, this USB-C hub will work with any Galaxy device that supports Samsung DeX and you will get 1920 by 1080 p resolution. But if you have ultra-wide monitor, there's a chance that your Galaxy phone will not give you 1440p output. Uh, my Galaxy Tab S6 is my main DeX device and I'm getting full full widescreen resolution output, so it's not a big deal for me. This USB-C hub will give you five apps running at the same time. Quick TLDR, if you don't know what the app limit is, is how many active app windows you can have opened inside the Samsung DeX desktop before they're gonna start shutting automatically. In 
nutshell, you have five windows, five apps in the small windows opened and you open app number six, the oldest app will automatically get minimized. So only five active apps can be opened at the same time using this USB-C hub on my both devices, Note 9 or Galaxy Tab S6. So I think I've mentioned everything. I'm just quickly looking for my final thoughts. Yes, um, overall, I do like this USB-C hub. I trust the company as because I already have, I think I already bought from them maybe five or six USB-C hubs. I have one left, others is not like broken, I just gave it away. So this one is the uh, is probably gonna be used to do uh, other testings, even if my Note 9 will not give, you, give me a 1440p output, but using 1080p portable displays, this USB-C hub will definitely gonna be useful for me just because I have extra USB -C, USB type A ports, which is very handy for me. Just looking sure, it's like if you're looking for a USB C hub that is a reasonable price and you need to have three USB type A ports, micro SD card reader, NSD card reader, this is USB type C hub that is, very, is you need to consider in purchasing or just think about this or just have a quick look. But this is definitely one of the good options for you to pick. Let's have a look how much it costs. It's cost currently at 23 99 British pounds here in Amazon UK. That's it. Yeah, this, this is very well built, very good quality. Oh, I forgot to mention about the cable. Some of the third parts with BC hubs, the way they attach the cable to a base and to a USB type C connector is not really strong. So it can start peeling off or snap after a couple of months of use. This one feels definitely that it's going to survive more than a couple of years of constant usage. So that's it. Thank you very much QGM for sending this USB-C hub and thank you very much you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this content. Please subscribe to my channel if you love Samsung DeX. That's what I do on this channel. I record videos where I'm pushing Samsung DeX to the limits and beyond. And click like on this video if you think what I said to you is, is useful. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.